Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles, and um, I thought I would share my favorite MAC lip sticks with you guys today. I know I said I would do a video on my favorite lipsticks, because I did my favorite lip glosses um, last week or the week before. I told you guys I would do a um, lipstick video. This hair back there will not lay down. A lipstick video, um, and I haven't gotten to that. So I do have several other um, brands that I like, but I just thought I would share with you my favorite MAC ones, and these are them. There are three, six, seven. Why couldn't I do the math? Three and four, seven. There's seven um, of my favorites right here. So to start with, let's see. This is, okay, Pink Nouveau. Pink Nouveau is my absolute favorite bright pink. And this is like a true, true, very, very bright pink color. So if you want that pop of pink on your lips, not that you can actually see it, but if you want that bright, bright, very, very pink color, it's right there. That is Pink Nouveau. And it's very, very pretty, especially like right now it's kind of matte, but it, um, with a lip gloss, lip gloss, with a lip gloss, it's beautiful. Um, let's see, I should have organized these and I didn't. Next up is Angel. This one is kind of funky because I had it in my car in my little cup holder and I um, kind of left it there. And then like after work one day I was driving home and I was like, oh, I'm gonna put my lip lipstick on. And it was like, it melted because it was hot and I just, you know, absentmindedly stuck it so it kind of melted down a little. But this is Angel and it's a frost. Looks like that. And then swatched. Looks like this. It's right there. And it's a very, very, it's a true pink also. Um, but it's very light, like a lighter pink. Very pretty. And then this is Fabby. This is one of my really, really, really big favorites. This is, um, I think, my third Fabby lipstick. And I need to buy another one, as you can tell, because I obviously use this one a lot. This one I will swatch right here. It looks a lot like the um, Angel one. Right there, just a little more rosy, a little darker. And then this one, I love this one. It's called Snob, and it's also a very true pink. It's a um, satin true pink, so there's not a lot of, not too much shimmer to it. Right there. And it's um, a lot more toned down than the Pink Nouveau, but you know, it's like got more, I guess, purple, bluish purple to it. It looks very, very pretty. Like if you nude your lips out with concealer and then put that on, it looks gorgeous. Um, and then this is Girl About Town. This is one of my, I mean, obviously if I have them, they're my favorites because I won't buy them unless I do really, really like them a lot. Um, but this one, Girl About Town is a really great, it's an amplified color. This one, I came downstairs one morning um, in my old house and found my daughter sitting at our breakfast table rubbing or drawing um, with this one. So it's really mashed down. And in order to even apply it now, I have to, you can see how she like severely smashed it. It's like mashed really bad. Um, but in order to apply it, I have to use a lip pencil. And this one is, it's a retractable one by Posh. And I wish I could tell you where I found this one at. I don't even know um, where I picked it up at. But the end, you just put it in and it retracts. And so I have to just, you know, swirl it and then apply it like that. This is a very, very bright, bright pink. Let me put it, I'll swatch it so you guys can see it. Eek. It's really, really messed up, but I can't buy a new one until I finish that one. Um, so no new one for me until that one's gone. Anyway. That one is Girl About Town. And that looks really pretty, especially in the fall. It's good for summer. These are all good summer. They're year-round colors, but this one is really, I mean, it's bright. There you go. Very, very bright. Uh, and it's got a lot of um, shine to it, so it's kind of glossy. Not that you can really see it. You see it a little bit. Not as matte as, say, Snob. Snob is kind of matte. Um, it's a little bit more glossy than that. Let's go about town. Okay, my last one is um, 
I don't have any of any nude ones because I've never I was never a nude lover until this year really. I was always just into pinks and pinks was all I would buy. Um, but this is a matte. It's called Love Dust. It's matte nude color and there it is in the tube. Ooh. Okay, and it's got a little bit like of a gold undertone to it. You're not even going to be able to see it on my skin um, because it's that nude. Let's see. Can you see it right there? Barely. Right there. Um, it's that nude, and it like perfectly just washes out my um, face. So if I do like a very, very smoky dark black charcoal or navy blue eye, even purple, um, it, it looks really, really pretty on the lips. And it's nude, but it's got, you know, little gold flecks, so it's really pretty. And lastly, this is Viva Glam. Um, I think it's just the first Viva Glam. I don't think it's like a V, you know, a five or a six or four or anything. I think it's just the first one. Red, like that. And it goes on like this, and it's pretty matte on its own. And this one I never wear on its own. I always put um, Russian red lip gloss on top. But there it is. It's like a brick red. Just a real, real brick red. But those are my favorite matte colors. Um, there's the love dust right there. You can barely see the sheen. Anyhow, those are my favorite MAC ones, and I hope you guys like that video. I know it's very short, um, but I don't buy MAC unless I absolutely love the shade or the product. Um, so I don't have a lot uh, because I won't use it, and if I do buy it and hate it, I will return it or give it to someone who will use it. So those are my favorite MAC ones right there. Hope you guys like that, and I'll show you combinations um, later. Like, you know, which lip gloss I wear which, with which one. Usually I wear them on their own, um, with the exception of the Russian red, which I always wear with a lip gloss because it's far too matte of a red. Although, I think that's going to be popular this fall, so I may try to do that uh, without a lip gloss. But I don't know. It's, I mean, everything is so much of your personal preference that you never know what exactly goes well until you try it and then you hate it, and then it's like, oh, I have to put a lip gloss over it. Anyhow, so you guys have a wonderful night, and thank you for watching. Bye.